So the first time we cover this brand, I kind of trashed them a little bit. I, I wasn't too mean, I don't think, was I? I don't think so. Me neither. I felt like I was given constructive criticism, which they actually took, which was crazy. And that was what led me into the second video, which is this brand is serious. It was also a pun. Haha. -ha. Now, we've got this third video, and I am just fully 100% on board with this brand. This right here is the brand that you guys should be looking out for, especially if you play basketball. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we're taking a look at what Serious Player Only has to offer, not just right now, but also coming out in the pipeline. They actually sent a bunch of sample stuff over, which is really cool. So if you watch any of our previous videos, this is their first model here. This is the Player One, our first video on this shoe. I was really trying to be nice, but like also being serious, no pun intended there. But basically this is their new version. They've updated certain things like the outsole. They've also updated things like the fit, even though they still don't fit me perfectly however their new model does and that's these bad boys right here this is the player one plus and i cannot tell you how awesome these are like this was cool these are awesome wow so the first thing that I'll say is just that this is a completely updated and upgraded version of the first model. Still similar performance features, so if you do like what was in the original, then you should like what's in these as well, but I feel like this one is just fine-tuned and tweaked in a way that just makes them a better shoe. Now the first thing that they did fix, in my opinion at least, is the fit. The fit no longer shoves my feet like in this weird direction. It doesn't like pinch my other toes outside of my big toe, so I just really love that. It feels much more natural feeling and all that stuff so yeah while this shoe again was cool this one I just feel like is just so much better in every way possible they also remind me of a Nike basketball classic which is the air bacon but it's in a low top form they extended the laces all the way down to the forefoot they've even added a flex zone right there at the tip of the forefoot so you've got flexibility plus extra lacing so that you can customize the lockdown in every area that you can think of which honestly is just great like that's something that you just want in a shoe traditional lacing is good and it usually works unless you're a wide footer then you already know that that can be a problem sometimes but when you have the lacing extend all the way down you can customize the fit way down low if you're a foam posit wearer you already know what I'm talking about so yeah the player one plus just a great shoe now this right here is the player one plus sample that they sent me they wanted my feedback on these guys and I told them my thoughts and all that stuff and they actually did they changed so much stuff it's so minor like you can't even like notice but they actually did change a bunch of things so the materials themselves are slightly different in the retail version it's actually actually stronger than what's here on the sample. They actually changed the laces up too. They went from flat to more of an oval lace to relieve lace pressure. Again, good move since all of these materials are very thin and very flexible. You don't want to pinch the nerves that are on top of your foot. I don't know if you've ever played with dead legs before, but it sucks. They also changed the interior liner. I'm not gonna say that one's better than the other because they both feel good. Just know that the retail version is different than the same. I don't know why they would do that, but it's there. But most importantly, they actually fixed the outsole. I don't think that this was a bad outsole at all, but this outsole is great. It's radial and herringbone all together. Like, tell me that doesn't sound awesome. You can't, because it does. But yeah, I just really like what they've done here, man. It's just very cool. This is like an indoor, outdoor friendly shoe. So like, if you play indoors, you're gonna be good. If you play outdoors, you're gonna be good. Now, one other thing that they did fix between the sample and the original, again, it's something very minor, but it's something that I just really liked. It's actually the eye stay area. They thickened up the TPU panels right here in the original sample, and then they thickened them up even more in the retail version. So they like are raised off the main body of the build, if you will. Will. and so it just makes for a much stronger ice stay area just to hopefully prevent any rippage now one of the coolest things about this brand is that the entire thing is kind of Kobe inspired obviously that was very much visible with their first model however it's not just visible from the outside it's also something that you can't see it's all on the inside and that is with their drop-in system again this is something that we've been talking about since Nike and Jordan brand first introduced this stuff like these are the first drop-in midsoles ever you know what I mean at least like full-on midsoles I'm not talking about like flight posits and stuff like that. Those were really thin insoles that were used as midsoles. It's still kind of the same thing, so technically, but uh, as far as like actual midsoles go, something like this is the first. This is from the Air Jordan 2011. Then it was followed up by the Nike Kobe system, the Kobe 7s. And then they used it so on and so forth until the Kobe 11s. But what we've never got was really options. You've only had to like buy the shoe every year and then hope that your old shoe, if that's your favorite, still was good. So you can like take the midsole out and put them in the other one or whatever, you know what I mean? So I think it was the Kobe 8 was the only one that was truly a system uh, where you can buy extra midsoles on Nike ID and then they got rid of it and 
we've all been like, what the f So this is their standard midsole. This is what will come in the shoe. This is what they call Evanlon. It's just like a lightweight EVA. Also, if you want to know the origins of EVA in footwear, we actually talked about that with Aaron Cooper on uh, our last episode of our podcast, Wear Testers Unlaced Episode 2. So go check it out. It was a very cool story. Now, underneath all of that, we actually have like an ETPU style material with an additional EVA pad right there. And so that's what comes in just the basic model. But if you wanted something that was a little bit lighter and more low profile, they have Evanlon Light, which is basically like Lunar and stuff. So this feels very similar to that. It's very light on top of that. I don't know if they changed the compound of this uh, as far as the foam goes, but these feel way more comfortable than the last ones that I used. So I don't know what they're doing. All I know is that they get better every time I try a new one. I'm telling you, this is like a brand to look out for. You know how like when you're into a band and they're like low key, they're underground. And then everybody discovers them. And, and then, then they're they... like, they were mine first. Right. And then they blow up like this is like that, yeah. but for footwear and stuff. So yeah, so it's pretty cool. You can get on the, the, the hype train before there is one. You are on board. Woo woo. And then this is their uh, their third option. This is the support midsole, and this thing is just dope. It's a little bit thicker, so it does fill out the shoe a little bit more, but I do think that it's worth putting it in there because not only is there more cushion in there, like not just from like the base and everything, but you also have all the additional cushions as well. But they have a support feature right here for lateral additional support, and it goes underneath, so it's kind of like a spring. So if you were to take a look at the Luca shoes, the Luca 1s and 2s, similar setup, you know what I mean? But they're not charging you a whole bunch of for it like they even come in an extra box and stuff like that so if you want it you can get it if you don't want it don't worry about it the stuff that i'm about to show you i don't know if i'm allowed to but i'm going to anyways because they sent it and it's so awesome that i just want to show these things we already got three options right you got to show what this one does though oh i will okay i just wanted to do a star wars joke let everybody know that there's another <gasps> Anyways, this is the new one, man. This is a, an explosive. It's got, it says explosive on there. I don't know what this is made out of, but it's very dense and very bouncy. And on top of that, it's got some rubber pods down here. So it's not going to skip or slid inside the shoe. Slide. Slide. Sorry. Okay. I'm talking very fast. My brain is moving in a different direction. And on top of that, there's an actual liner, which is what was missing on all these other ones. I prefer this setup personally. I love liners on shoes. I don't like the foam on sock thing. But on top of that, all of this graphic right here is sticky graphic so it's like that stuff that's on the bottom of hospital socks and look at this i did that way cooler earlier <laughs> now you're just throwing stuff at me oops sorry i don't know what kind of foam it is because they didn't give me any information on this thing all they did was just package it in this bag that i'll show you in a second but uh yeah i, I just saw this and i was like what the sh is this and then I tried it and I was like wow this is cool so there's gonna be a fourth midsole I don't know when it releases but just keep an eye out now in addition to this shoe right here they actually have another shoe that's like a team shoe they call it the game one and we did take a look at these uh, last time when we made that other video on them this was like the sample and stuff this is kind of an, another indoor outdoor shoe this is actually a mid top version of it still compatible with all of their systems but look at this man there's a low top too they got like beefed up everything they dropped the top a little bit they made it more air so it's like more ventilated and everything they added additional structure right here in the back so there's a really strong heel counter and stuff they've got the lateral support wing still there very similar to kind of what's in the drop-ins and everything like that and like I said this is completely compatible with all of these other systems that they've already got in place so you buy all the midsoles you can swap them out with all of their shoes this is something that we really wished was part of the Kobe line you know what I mean when they introduced that Kobe system we thought that we were gonna get an actual system the bottom itself is just aggressive and it's thick as too like this rubber is awesome dude so i had something else to talk about i don't remember what it was socks, oh that's backpacks. right yeah there were socks and backpacks sorry so a couple more things uh these are not available yet and i don't know when they're going to be available i again don't even know if we're supposed to show these but uh they've got socks coming these if you want to really tell this is not my thing uh that's going to go up to my waist but uh, yeah, we got tall socks, we've got normal crew socks, and then they've got like a shorter quarter cut. This is my jam right here, so I really dig this in this giant bag. <laughs> like this thing fits all kinds of stuff, dude. It's awesome. And it's like a synthetic leather, so it looks and feels like leather, but it isn't. And so if you're into that stuff, then you're probably gonna like this. I actually don't know what all of this is for. This is like that soft side of a Velcro piece. So I don't know if you're supposed to like, stick things to this but yeah i don't know anything about this the only thing that i know is that this is supposed to be part of an upcoming kickstarter campaign and let's just say that i'm down to support this because this is cool look at all of those pads on there that's crazy man that's gonna be mad comfortable they fit your shoes they fit water bottles there's a spot for like 
what looks like it could be a ball. I like it a lot. So yeah, I don't know when this is coming, but when it does, we'll update you guys either here or on social media and all that stuff. Same thing with these guys. When these release, this is again the game one. We'll let you guys know and, and give you a review. They again have all the same tech. There's a carbon fiber and lightweight materials, all that stuff, the same systems, but it's just a beefcake of a shoe in comparison to the lightweight version that is the player one and the player one plus. So if you were interested in grabbing these right here, again, this is the serious player only player one plus. They do fit true to size, so whatever you normally wear that is what I would recommend that unfortunately was not the case with the original version that's the one thing that I will say is a bummer is that if you have this in a size up and then you wanted to grab this and then you have extra insoles or midsoles like this they may be a little bit weird just because it might not be the same exact size so that's the only thing that's a bummer but at least they fixed it so you know these fit great these these fit great by the way like I don't want to like over like try to like you know what I mean but I'm just saying in comparison to this one where I felt like my foot was being shoved into a banana shape this shoe is legit but with all that being said thank you guys for hanging out with us thanks for watching uh, let us know what you think about these down below in the comment section did you grab a pair of the player one plus already if you have feel free to leave your comments down below especially if you played in the original that's the thing I think that the fit is so drastically different I really want to know what other people think I actually talked to uh, Steve about it because he has both shoes too and Steve's over at sneaker tech talk on YouTube but uh, yeah he's got both shoes and he agreed that the fit was just way better and stuff so I'd like to know what your guys thoughts are too sound off below let us know thank you so much for being here we greatly appreciate it we'll catch you guys on the next one so until then have a good one these are dope they're so bouncy